guys i am back hope you settle down या है नंदनी सहाना Yeah, please, uh, Tathapi, repeat your question. If I miss that. I've read somewhere that we consume food, breath, and impression throughout the life. Yes, yes. So the impression, impression is. this uh, what is meant here is impression is this area completely this uh, particular be, uh, just for, uh, forget about this red thing these these all are impression so the whole impression it talks about so these all are captured in our mind the beyond cons beyond conscious perceptions beyond conscious perceptions are also captured so this whole area is the that impression that we eat actually but knowingly or unknowingly now if uh, that impression is consciously uh, addressed then it doesn't create any disturbances but when when there is a problem in the consciousness or the awareness of that red area the rationality area then we suffer the problem because because of that vacuum created in that impression okay so uh, sahana is very tired so sahana you want to uh, work out let me know if you wish to uh, take uh, Yes, yeah, Anna. If you want to walk out, uh, just uh, let me know because your focus is very much important for the class. <clears throat> okay, so you did your assignment, uh, Tathapi. So I think impressions are all the things we experience by our senses and reaction or feeling. it internally most like emotions feelings and reactions towards uh, what are happening to us <laughs> okay sahana you can lie down and uh, listen that was the uh, listen to the um, uh, lecture uh, that was the recommendation in our initial talk also you need not to see the screen though i am writing a bit uh, previous session i wrote a lot so um, you may because this writings will be anyway uh, given away uh, to you right yeah so tathapi your uh, interpretation is uh, quite in sync with the understanding now if in this current session it will be further clearer the understanding will be much clearer in this current session named as think feel and act so all have joined
नंदिनी विक्रांत तथा पी आशा पूजा एंड तुलिका देव नॉट ज्वाइन पूजा एंड तुलिका आई देर आई डोंट सी इन द चैट एनी नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ यू ज्वाइनिंग राइट so this is an extension of rebt this is an extension of rebt think feel act think feel act and there will be contradictions also in the proposals when we say that we need to actually focus on the form first then we need to go beyond the form to the formless now here the starting point is the formless because thinking is a formless and yesterday somebody was asking that uh, we need to think fast but the thing is thinking itself is a fast activity we need not to intentionally think fast because formless anything formless is very fast thing right now the feeling is also kind of formless but we absorb it and we capture it within the thoughts are very much fast and it is not captured now the feeling is captured so it is a reduction of the speed from formless to form from formless to form then further it is through action it gets a real form so the feeling is a transient state from the formless to the form where it is soaked within us and it is a slow process and then the neutral process evolved as a form if it is a rational action right so the neutral means it should be homeostatic it should be in sync with nature without any without creating any disturbance so think feel okay so pooja was not able to uh, join uh, finally she got so this notification actually get delays some time uh, to facebook so that's great uh, tulika also has joined so i was talking about why this contradiction when we are talking so much about the form first form first form is the foundation then we are proposing that think first feel then then act so we are saying the rebt proposes that think feel act is the order of executing any action so first think then feel feel feeling is a slow to be a slow process you need to soak it within then you act now action should be neutral because the action should not be attached to kind of expectations action is the for the pleasure of that act only to be done why it is neutral neutral means without any polarity without any polarity so without any expectation the act should be executed so that your vitality is conserved to the optimum and the background is built through the think and then feel when you think deeply and fast thinking is the thinking as go, like you need not to think fast kind of think thought itself is a fast entity so you need not to uh, intentionally think fast so as a habit of thinking you will realize that thinking are very fast if you think less or think irrational then you suffer from the blow of slow think or irrational aspects of the thoughts right so when you are rationally approaching the thoughts then you will find that thinking is a fast activity and then you need to reduce the speed of the thought to your feel 
then it should come out as an act. An act should be a neutral act without the expectation of the outcome. For the fun of that action, one should start an act. So, when we talk about formless and form, it's very easy to understand, you know, the forms are perceivable easily. All those five senses can perceive this form. And formless thing cannot be claimed. It is useless to discuss and claim or uh, uh, feel uh, what feel a pride kind of thing of the formless. Because it cannot be established. Unless it is a form, it cannot be established. And the rational capability or reasoning capability of mankind is conditioned to this form establishment. And we should not defy that by demeaning that you only uh, support form and you don't uh, support my definition of formless. And all around the conflicts that you see because of the difference of realization of the formless and which is an obvious aspect. The realization of the formless will be unique for each and everyone. It is not a group, it is not a group of people who will have the same formless experience. The formless experience is unique for each and everyone. And we need to identify that uniqueness and identifying doesn't mean that your formless experience is my formless experience. Formless exist, but formless experience exists uniquely for each and every one. This understanding should be there to perceive life, to sync with nature. Otherwise, the nature has sketched our form. We cannot deny the existence of form. Formless is also true, but the claiming of the formless is a useless process and wastage of time and vitality both. We need to enjoy formless without claiming so much about its existence because the existence is there, but my perception towards that existence is unique. I cannot change that for the sake of something. So formless is definitely the ultimate reality. The formless is ultimate reality, but we cannot conclude it. Conclusion is a limited approach. The moment I conclude the formless aspect, even the vitality aspect, that how much vitality I have. If uh, <laughs> last time in a batch, uh, there was a, um, an entrepreneur, uh, when he understood the vitality concept and all, he was very much energetic and um, asked uh, time for me to discuss about how to devise uh, an instrument to uh, capture the quantum of the uh, vitality. So, he wants to measure the vitality and give it to the people. This is an useless initiative. Because the vitality is a formless aspect, why you can, uh, why you should capture it in a machine? Let it be experienced by the individual. Just give a framework to the people to find their own way of experiencing it uniquely. <clears throat> okay, Nandini says that a distractive thought can be fast too, isn't it? It is not rational. See, the thought itself by nature is a fast. Now you need to identify the rationality of it with your reasoning capability. So whatever the thought may be, it comes fast because it is formless. Formless means mass with lot of speed. Then it disappears. So without the speed, it is not thought at all. Now form is unavoidable. And it is the primary, it is the foundation. We need to understand that formless is the ultimate, but form is the primary. 
we need to identify acknowledge the form and we should talk about form a lot than the formless because this is established this can be easily established right now the speed of thoughts uh, in relation to the uh, nandini's point also the speed of thought is humongous there is no ambiguity about it and feeling help us to reduce the speed of thought feeling is a soaking method because feelings becomes mine now i have to now soak it so it's a slow process so it is reducing the speed of thought and then action makes the speed neutral because ultimately the health or the wellness is the neutrality the homeostasis condition so think come fast way then feeling just soak it and reduce the speed and then the neutrality starts happening through the action when we up for the action in a neutral state and we would like to understand this once again e equals to mc square and you know that e is formless energy this is energy i should use the relevant color e is energy m is mass and c is c is speed here it is speed of light and which is huge speed which is huge speed it's a constant so there is a relation between formless and form and we talked about the straight the linear motion and the circular motion also yesterday to uh, actually if somebody is not comfortable to accept this particular proposition by einstein e equals to mc square then that understanding of conversion of linear motion into a circular motion needs reduction of speed because something is moving straight and suddenly you want to make that motion in a circular then it needs to reduce the speed repeatedly because every corner you have to every corner you have to reduce the speed it was going this way but you have turned it was going this way but you have turned it was going this way you have turned so like this the tangential speed is reduced and becomes a form and you see atoms or cell both are circular the forms are circular the motion within is circular so any straight straight line formless aspect so formless aspects are straight line like in radiation radiation we have two types of motion one is the straight radiation and other is the circular radiation circular radiation is the particles that we need so if you <coughs> and the straight radiation has got the heat so from the sunlight we don't need the heat that way directly we for the sun basking we need the particles not the heat so now uh, yeah so on the sun basking i was about to tell this that sun basking through a glass window is not recommendable it should be in the open air so feelings actually acts act as a bridge between thoughts and action right so it forms a bridge between thoughts and action and on the way when you deal with the high speed thing and you reduce it and you make it neutral then you end up conserving lot of vitality and that is the objective of this route right now i understand that there somewhere there is a contradiction that you you propose so much that the starting point should be form now here the starting point is a formless so now the next presentation will clear that confusion that why it should be think feel 
an act but the story behind is something else let's decipher that in the next presentation so by that time if you have any question if you have any question please post in the chat i'll address those questions as well now how far uh, uh, so so far how it is going just uh, uh, give some comments uh, to understand that you are with me So all eight people are there. I think uh, Sahana is there, but uh, she is not uh, on the screen. That's okay. Sahana, please uh, keep resting. Uh, right, right. So Asha is with us. Uh, Ranga also responded. Yeah, Nandini needs uh, more guidance. Definitely, Nandini. So you are a regular uh, connect in the alumni group also. So those who are uh, interested to join the alumni group after this course, you can uh, give your consent. Uh, I'll add you in our alumni group. We have a small uh, size solution alumni group where we interact on a regular basis. Yes, this is a build up for the next topic, Asha. Asha commented this very wisely, but wondering where we are going with this. Is this a build up for the next topic? Absolutely, yes. Here we come, Tulika, how to manage thoughts. Are feelings equivalent to emotion? Yes. If not, then how to differentiate the two? How does feeling reduce the speed? If I am angry with something, then how can the speed be slow? So there comes the irrational belief pattern. Because anger, if you correlate with that ABCD concept, ABCD concept is meant for any disturbing feeling or emotions. Both are equivalent. Uh, let's understand for now. So there will be little bit of differences that uh, that can be negligible for now. Now, when some emotion disturbs you, so anger is a emotion which disturbs. And like I said that crying can be enjoyable also, can be depressing also. But anger can never be enjoyable. <clears throat> Agitation, anger, arrogance are always disturbing. There is no where uh, no example where the anger can be enjoyed. Right? If somebody claims that anger is enjoyable also, then there definitely some belief pattern problem in that person. And it is heading towards a perversion. Right? Because it is completely disturbing emotion. Now, whenever you feel anger, you need to identify that it is a problem. It is a problem and that problem definitely do have an irrational belief behind. You need to pause. You need to pause and identify that irrational belief, A, B, C. The disturbance, suppose you are anger on some child in your college. <coughs> I understand Tulika, you are a professor. So uh, if I just uh, imagine, um, hypothetically think that you are angry on a child, on a student, then you have to pause and identify that actuating event, which kind of characteristic of that child or the learner is creating anger within you. Which kind of characteristic of that child is creating anger within you. Then you have to find out that what is the belief system that is forcing you to resort to anger. That you expected that the child should behave here in this frame, framework, but 
she is behaving some other way now that lead you to the anger now the new belief the rational belief is that it never happens everybody is unique and the responses will be unique so you cannot you cannot actually confine the response under your framework the response of any individual will be unique and that will be out of the confined definition of your responses when you address that repeatedly then the acceptance of that behavior will be emerging within you with a new set of belief system that is what is abcde method so this is where the thoughts can be actually given a new new face of solas okay so that was the question uh, great guys so uh, now this is the last topic of the day so all these chapters are there in the uh, union uh, section of the study material i request you all to go through also whenever you get time otherwise the study material is with you you should take a print out also uh, so that it can be kept handy <laughs> now the proposal is reversed act feel think how confusing how confusing is it what are you proposing to think first or feel next and act then or act first then feel then think so yes i was building up this topic in the previous topic as correctly mentioned by asha now this current day is the union day and as i committed that there will be talks on sex and procreation both now we are here talking about the procreation continuum procreation continuum is a responsible continuum where you are a guide for your offspring you are a guide for your offspring you accept or don't accept parents are the first teacher for a child now you need to take up this guiding baton to guide your child for a better person better satisfactory person for herself now how to guide that now if you are tuned to think feel act then if you propose your thought to the child then that is an imposition your thought pattern and your child's thought pattern will be entirely different thought pattern rather uniquely different thought pattern you cannot claim that your child thinks like you exactly thinks like you this cannot be claimed there could be some overlapping points which is identifiable but exactly same thought patterns cannot happen for two people and for the simple reason the perceptory receptions are different because the thoughts are generated through perceptions the in our psychology study the uh, few of the initial chapters were having the perception repeated perception we had to study then it comes to the thought because without perception you cannot generate a thought and each on one of us do have different roots of perception the same object the same object if i look from this side i can see this logo if somebody is looking from that side they will see this photograph so the perception differs the same object will be defined differently right and so it happens for the child also now the moment we impose our formless aspect to the child child gets confused because child is an empty chart is an empty paper nothing is written there no thought process has been developed there and thought force process develops after the birth 
slowly and gradually. That's an emergence. The formless aspects are primarily emergence. It comes from within. It cannot be enforced or imposed. Now, what is the resort then? We need to propose the forms to the child. With our set of understanding about life, we need to propose actions to the child. Not the feeling, not the thoughts. This is very important. Just try and understand very minutely. Because we end up proposing our child to love somebody, to respect somebody. Those are the formless aspects. And with our understanding, if I respect somebody, if I impose that respect to the child to respect that person, it is a full falsified, confusing route to guide a child. We cannot propose this to a child. The moment we propose, we end up confusing that child. Because she will not be able to deny it. She has to accept it. Because you are the um, caregiver. One caregiver cannot be denied. And she needs to absorb it without proper assimilation. And that will innervate the child like anything. That will innervate the child like anything. So you need to understand the gravity of this problem. Proposing child a formless aspect. That you show kindness. Like you, you should be kind. You should be kind to the person. You should relate with the person. This is the techniques to relate. Now after relating, if the kindness emerges, it's fine. Instead of asking a child for respecting something, to respect some, somebody, you should tell that pay attention to that person. What he is saying, how he is living, just pay attention and you can just propose that the, the observation of yours. That see that style of talking is very delicate and it's very useful for convincing people. Why don't you listen to him or her? Then after listening, after paying, to atten paying attention, if the respect emerges from within, well, it is there. It is her respect which has emerged. Let her enjoy that. The same thing for the love also. Love starts at the point of caring. Caring is an act. Care is, in, is an act and it can be faked also. So, now, so love, love, without love, caring can happen. That I mean to say. A robot also can care you. But if when you propose a human to care somebody, then there will be a possibility of emergence of love. So, these all set of formless aspect, be it love, be it Respect, be it kindness, is an emergence. Are the emergences from within? It cannot be imposed. What can be proposed? Nothing should be imposed. What can be proposed is the related actions. Is the related actions. So the possibility of that emergence can be there with your understanding of life. So when you are up to <coughs> guide somebody, that time you need to Tell that person that act this way. Action is to be proposed. Then the feeling can be requested. Just feel your action. And it will be actually automated process. When somebody act, a human, if, if the person is not a robot, then he will feel, he or she will feel the action for sure. And with that feeling, she will generate some thought process. And with that thought process, his next set of action will be something else. So I'll give you an example. When you ask somebody to care somebody, care in terms of, okay, just um, give the food to that person and just feed, feed somebody. Now while feeding, if the reactions will be received, the responses will be received. If the person feels, uh, sees that person who is giving that food, feeding with a proper uh, acknowledgement, then this feeling of that response 
will enhance the thought process okay this kind of responses are there that response will give you a good feeling and that good feeling will generate some thoughts and that thought will enhance that action and slowly and gradually with the improved action an improved feeling will be generated and that improved feeling will be generating improved thought process and the cycle will go on and on which should necessarily start with an action which should necessarily start with an action now this is the order before maturity the speed wheel you see the act is a moderate act with that feeling is a slow feeling then then the thought generated thought thought by nature is a fast and that will impact the action again and the improvement will go on this is the speed wheel for the order before maturity when the individual is not matured under some guidance so when we are he, when we are up to guide somebody this is the route act then feel then think this way it should go on and on now up to here uh, is there any question there are a few questions it seems okay uh, tabular rasa what is that uh, i couldn't get uh, nandini i couldn't comprehend your uh, uh, this word tabular rasa uh, tulika says how to tell a child to be related with others can you give an example yes yes tulika uh, for this actually tomorrow there is a, a special session that how to relate with people this is a strategic uh, activity and we will we'll learn about that and this is very easy you know uh, just uh, relating uh, is easy uh, just transporting yourself in other others uh, position this is what is relating right just think yourself in that person's shoe and that position how would you feel so if you ask somebody that uh, you should feel uh, kind uh, to some uh, poor person so he will get confused but if you tell that think yourself in that position where you don't have proper clothes you don't have a place to stay how do you feel so consider yourself in that so this is a process of relating so there is no imposition of the kindness there right so this is an action that person will be doing now i am in that position now what are the things how that feelings come if that feeling is a negative feeling then there is a chance of emergence of kindness <clears throat> okay 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 a blank sheet of mind of a child is tabula rasa right thanks uh, nandini now yes now uh, as as this uh, point of uh, tabula rasa uh, what uh, nandini says um, it is a question that the child when the child born the child borns with few reflexes and reflexes are definitely formless entity the initial reflexes i have uh, actually enlisted six reflexes here so those reflexes are reflexes means a capability an ingrained programmed response towards the external world with which a child borns so those reflexes are the starting point of formless entity and which is definitely without the body and the physical existence of the child cannot happen so this how this reflex gets generated within the body of a child is a kind of mystery that cannot be deciphered and may not, like it, it what is the use of deciphering it because it is a default 
programmatic capability that a child borns with. What are those? Now, startling, grasping, stepping are first three. So, startling means being surprised, responding this way, being surprised. You will see the eyes are bigger for a child. So, this, this is called startling, that they get surprised to everything, each and everything. This is a first reflex. Then the grasping. If you give a finger, then she will hold it. And then stepping. If you just bring your child in a stand, standing position with a support, it will start stepping. It will start stepping. That's a reflex that, that they born with. Then definitely the other three are rooting, suckling, swelling. Rooting means if you put the nipple on, on the cheek of the uh, baby, it will, it will locate it and it will take in the mouth. So that, this is called rooting reflex. Rooting reflex. So they are equipped with this. Then after rooting, they suck it. This is the suckling reflex. Then after sucking, they swallow it. So these few reflexes they are born with. Now with these reflexes, they get some or other responses from the external world. And those responses will generate feeling thoughts according to their level of understanding at that point in time. Initially, it was a blank page. Right. So at the beginning, reflexes drive actions. So reflexes drives the action, then actions produce feelings and the feelings generate thoughts. So it starts with that action of reflex, then the feelings with the response and the feelings generate thoughts. Feelings generate thoughts and then the cycle starts that way, which starts at the action, reflexive actions, right? So the order of act, feel, think is reversed when the foundation is formed. So, when you feel yourself little maturing and now you have a thought pattern developed, that time you need to start think, feel and act, not before that. Before which, before maturity, it should be always act, feel and think. Act, generate a feeling, generate a thought. So that is the order. Now, when your child becomes independent, feels independent and you identify that independence, mostly it comes with the maturity of the physiology also. It comes uh, together. You know, the end of the physical maturation is an appearance of cognition, independent cognition. So, with that, at that point in time, they should start the reverse cycle. They should think first because already the foundation is formed. When that foundation of thought pattern is formed, their belief system is formed, then it, it is their task to execute that capability which is already generated within so that the actions will be bettered. Now, nobody is there to, act, to guide for the action. They need to take the baton themselves. Now, here they have this thought pattern with which they feel and act. Think, feel, act comes after that. So, when a foundation is formed, that time the reverse order starts. Now, here uh, there are few examples uh, of uh, formless and form to erase the erase the uh, confusion. This was there in the lifespan uh, framework uh, chapter also. Uh, you'll be able to uh, understand that mind is a formless, matter is a form. So, vitality is formless, body is form. Energy is formless, mass is form. Observation is formless, noticing is a form. Intention is formless, action is form. So, if you have intention, it should be translated to action. If you have love, then it 
will be translated to care and that is only visible love cannot be visible gratitude humbleness you need to pay gratitude if you have gratitude towards some, some, someone then you will be having humbleness humbleness can be an act to be proposed so that the gratitude the probability of developing gratitude is there respect paying attention intelligence analysis more you tell the child to analyze analysis is an activity the intelligence will grow further happiness is health health is visible visible form and that time you will feel happy if your health is okay then you feel okay and you feel happy emotion motion motion is visible emotion cannot be emotion is felt within so and definitely <laughs> order when maturing the previous chapter that think fast think first also then you feel and then you act in a moderate way in a neutral way and the cycle continues that way so with that i end uh, this particular chapter so i told that uh, okay how to relate uh, i answered that the blank sheet of mind of a child is tabula rasa yes child is born with cellular memory too programmed so in you know phase it is act feel think in the and in unison it is think feel and act absolutely even in union phase also union and unison phase both phases we should think feel and act in the first phase only it is act feel and think it is to be proposed so in general when you are up to guide somebody you should propose an action you should not uh, propose some thought patterns because thought patterns cannot be changed on your own or on on, on uh, somebody's initiative it should be perceived by the individual and that will emerge from within right so action is a form entity and action should be proposed that's it but for internal like it's a guiding principle act feel and think but when you execute yourself you should think first then feel then act then that action can establish an example for others they may copy it and they may generate the same kind of feelings and thoughts further but uniquely right guys so uh, kajal also joined uh, it seems but uh, i understand kajal you are engaged uh, in the school so uh, it's uh, it was not planned and on the last day uh, the it happened so the recordings are there i um, i would appreciate if you go through the recordings but definitely recordings will not fetch you the kind of information which is ca which can be gained in the synchronous uh, aspect so right guys any uh, question if you have you can put by that time we'll have a 90 seconds silence and we'll conclude the session
Right, I don't see any question. So, we are reassembling at uh, 7 pm sharp for a relaxed session, and uh, by that time, uh, you all should have your dinner and uh, you should post your dinner picture also in the group. So, we'll uh, go through those pictures and any pressing doubt if you have, then you should prepare that and uh, you should post uh, that in during that session. So, we'll take up those doubts and we'll relaxly end the day at 7. So, by 8 definitely. So, it's a um, max, uh, it will be on one hour uh, session. Right? Bye-bye.